Hey guys, I'm going to try to do a very quick floral. Try to keep it loose. Um, I've already got my paints laid out. I'm going to start with a little bit of orange and dry it. Uh, I like to do that sometimes. And then as I um, do the picture, I'll use a baby wipe here and there in white, and this uh, um, some of this orange could show through, possibly. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to dry it. Take a black grease pencil and I'm going to kind of uh, loosely draw in where I want my pot, my shadow. I'm going to put the flowers in. I want, um, you want to put my center of interest, my biggest flower, right here. Uh, I'll do a medium flower here and maybe a small one there. And then I'm going to have one going off the page here, and maybe another one there. I'm just letting the pencil dance around. Flower uh, there, probably be one there, and say right here. Maybe a leaf right in there. Okay. And I always like to put a background line in just to all right. Um so what I'm gonna do is I think on this one I'm going to take a dark blue, this is cyan, and a dark red, and make a plum, kind of a plummy color. This is a good shadow color, and most of it will get covered up, but it gives me a good, uh, and it also gives me a good dark It's easy to uh, paint your picture and it end up very pastel. I do that sometimes and sometimes I find out if I just go ahead and put some darks in to begin with. I can always cover them up, but uh, most of the time they end up showing up here and there. I'm just um, very loosely putting in like where the, sh the flowers might be. There's my leaf. There's a leaf and uh, I can always cover this up or change it. I'm just kind of outlining like I'm drawing and thinking about the shape. So I love the sh I like all the shapes there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a yellow and a black to get a nice dark green. And I'm just going to put that in. That's some more dark. So I'll put some here in the middle. I think I have maybe a leaf shape there. There, okay. Now 
I'm going to take a lime green and I'm thinking light this way so I'm just going to touch these darks where I think the light would be hitting the leaf and then I'm just going to touch it with my finger. Everything is very wet right now but I love I love that lime green in there. Just really makes the darks pop. I'll just put it right there, kind of thick, and then I'll just touch here and there. Okay. Um, I think what I'm going to do now is the pot. And I think I will go, I'll mix the blue with some of my purple that I have and I'm going to use a bigger brush and I'm just going to take this color and just loosely put it in here nice and dark on that side and then I'm going to touch white and I'm going to carve out that leaf touch I don't want to overwork it so I'm just going to dry my brush and then kind of blend it just a little I can always change it later but for right now I'm just going to when I dry my brush and pull that over it kind of makes it into a medium blue and then I can put some more of the dark blue over here and kind of touch here and there okay I like that now I'm going to put my flowers in they're going to be purple and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a bigger brush. I'm going to get it wet. And I'm going to grab some dark purple, medium, and light. And I'm just, this is my main flower right here. So I'm just going to touch it in with a little dark, some light. Grab some more, touch there and there. Grab a dark purple and put it there and there on that side. Grab some of the medium, put one there. Some more of this, uh, the light purple. I see that's really light there, so I'm gonna put a dark there and one there. And then I'm going to touch it with my, just kind of touch here and there. Okay. Touch that white and kind of turn it, maybe try to turn it a little more lavender. Might be some right there. Okay. All right, now I'm going to take a flat brush and I'm going to mix a teal with a little bit of white. And I'm going to brush it on. Uh, I'm not being super careful, but Just kind of touching here and there. So I don't think the flowers would be f flat across there. So I've got to kind of bring it in there, kind of make it maybe more flowery. Like, uh, 
There's a little bit of orange peeking here and there. Sometimes when I touch that purple, it um, pulls it into the paint, but that's okay. Okay, I'm going to sweep that. Make sure I leave that nice dark Bitch, I love that. I'm gonna make this side a little lighter. I'm gonna leave again some of that dark that I started with. to show the brush marks so I turn my brush this way and that way. See I think I want this a little darker. Pull that back out. I just touched it. Ooh, that uh, turquoise is really pretty with that purple. All right, and now I'm going to rinse my brush and I'm going to. I just want to figure out how much of that line I want to leave. Here you go. This is very uh, transparent, so it's going to need another coat, but. <laughs> 